Hello friends, in this part, we will discuss, how to make PHP fetch API. For fetch data from MySQL table, and then after display on web page. But before creating fetch API, we have to write, JavaScript code, for send request to PHP API. And then after we will display, data on web page, under this React CRUD application. So these things, we will discuss under this part and in previous part. We have already discussed how to set router for fetch data page. So if you have not seen that video tutorial, please watch that part first. And we have also put previous video tutorial link under this video description also. Now let's start discussing this topic. So we have goes to component directory user list.jsx file. And under this file, here write import react statement, and then after, we have to write, open and close bracket. And between this, we have to write, use effect and use state component, so here, we have also import, this two component of react library. Here this use effect is a react hook, which allows us to perform, side effect in our component. And this side effect, we can use for, data fetching, or for the manipulation. And use state is also a React hook, which enables functional components to manage local stage. We can use this use statement for create or update state variable within a functional component. Now we have show you how to use this both React library hook for fetch data. So here we have to write users and set users variable is equal to use state hook. So here, we have defined a state variable, using use state. After this, below we have to write, use effect hook, with callback function. And this function will return data in an array, so for this, here we have to define array. So here, we have used this use effect, to perform side effects. Under this, we have to define, the URL of our backend fetch data API. So here, we have to write, API URL variable is equal to URL of our PHP fetch data API. Now we want to call this API link. So here we have used JavaScript fetch API. So it will use get method for send request to this API. And under this, we have to write API URL variable, which will send request to this API link. After this, we have to write then method with callback function with response as parameter. And under this function, we have to write, response.json function. So this function will receive data from, fetch backend API, and it will convert data into, JSON format. And after this, we have to again write, then method, with callback function. And here, we have to write, data variable as parameter, so it will receive data in, JSON format. And under this function, we have to write, set users method, with data as argument. So here, we have set the data to this users state, so here it will update, the value of this data state variable. And this use effect will update, the data of document, whenever this data state variable will be update. Now we want to make backend fetch data API, so here we have create, one new directory, with name API. And under this directory, we have create one PHP file, with name action.php. Under this file, first we have to write, header function, and under this, we have to write, access control all origin option, and here we have to write star. So this is a common configuration, which is used to allow requests from different domains, which is especially used in web services and in an API. After this, we have to write second header, and under this, we have to write allow control and allow headers, which is tells the server to accept any HTTP headers, incoming requests. Next we have to write third header, and under this, we have to write 
access control and allow methods and it is specifies that the server allow any HTTP method such like get post put delete and more so this three statement will set headers for API request after this we want to make database connection so here we have to write dollar connect variable is equal to new PDO class with three parameter in first parameter we have to write my SQL and here we have to write host is equal to this host name this is because I have used my SQL 8 community server and in database name we have to write testing in second user name parameter we have to write root and in password parameter we have to write password so it will make my SQL database connection now this is our testing database and under this we have one sample users table with four column like ID first name last name and email so it will fetch data from this table now here we want to know the incoming request method so here we have to write dollar method variable is equal to dollar server request method variable so it will return incoming request method name like get post put and delete now here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write dollar method variable is equal to get so if this condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have to write dollar query variable is equal to select star from sample users table order by id in descending order so this query will fetch data from this table below this we have to write dollar result variable is equal to dollar connect variable with query method and with two parameter in first parameter we have to write dollar query variable and in second parameter we have to write pdo class with fetch associative method so it will return query execution result now we have to define one data variable and under this variable we will store sample user data in an array format now for fetch data from dollar result variable so here we have to write for each loop and under condition we have to write dollar result variable as dollar row variable under this loop we have to write dollar data variable is equal to dollar row variable so on every loop it will store sample user table single row data under this variable so here we have stored data under this dollar data variable now we want to send this data to fetch api in json format so here we have to write echo statement with json encode function with dollar data variable so it will send data to javascript fetch api in json format now we have goes to user list.jsx file and here we want to display data in table so here in table body tag we have to write open and close bracket and between this we have to write users state variable dot map method with two parameter like user and index under this map callback function we have create one table row tag and between this we have to create four table data tag now in table row tag we have to write key attribute is equal to bracket and between this we have to write index so it will set unique key name in each table row tag now in first table column we want to display first name table column data so here we have to write bracket and between this we have to write user dot first name in second table column we want to display last name table column data so here we have to write bracket and between this we have to write user dot last name in third table column we want to display email table column data so here we have to write bracket and between this we have to write user dot email and in last table column 
we will generate edit and delete button at the time of edit and delete API tutorial. So on every loop, it will display user data under this table. So here our code is ready. Now friends, here in browser, we have open base URL of React application. And here on web page, we can see that user data has been displayed on web page in tabular format. Here this data has been fetched from MySQL table by using JavaScript fetch API, which has been send request to PHP fetch API for fetch data from MySQL table. So here in React CRUD application tutorial, we have use React use effect and use state hook. For display data on web page, when page has been load and this use effect has been sent, fetch request to backend API. By using JavaScript fetch API, and then it has received data from backend API. And after this, by using used state hook, it has been update data into user's state variable. And then after, it has update data on web page and display on web page. So this way, we can use React use state and use effect hook for display data on web page. In next part, we will learn how to make insert data component, then after we will see how to set router for insert data under this React CRUD application, so we will be meet in next part.